Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar, author of the Corrective Exercise Solutions to Common Hip and Shoulder Dysfunction. Thanks so much for joining us in this month's edition of Fitness Insider. I just finished shooting up this month's webinar for Integrative Movement U, the online resource for integrating corrective exercise and the fundamental movement patterns. And we're talking about serratus anterior and its function in pulling patterns. Because we often think about serratus anterior and its pushing function, but remember it must also help develop scapular control when we're pulling. And it's often when the serratus anterior is not working as optimally as it should, along with the other upward rotators, upper trap, lower trap, that we get that anterior tilted, our clients get that anterior tilted shoulder position. So we want to teach our clients how to stay open and wide through the front and keep the scapula wrapped or upwardly rotated and posterior tilted. And that's in part function of the serratus anterior. So I'm gonna show you how to do that during a horizontal pulling pattern. Now a lot of our clients, so this is how our, a lot of our clients will do a pulling pattern. They're either taught to overly extend through the thorax and retract and depress the shoulder blades and that will bring the shoulder blades into too much depression and too much retraction or scapular adduction, which is a component of retraction. That will disrupt optimal scapular mechanics and that's what we see so many times in our clients and patients that come in with chronic neck problems and shoulder problems. So here's how we cure clients to maintain optimal control during a horizontal pulling pattern. We want to teach them to be long through the spine as if a string's pulling them towards the top or towards the ceiling. We want them to stay open and wide through the front of their chest so, th so that when they're pulling, they're not closing down the front of the chest and pulling the scapula into an anterior tilted position. And when they pull, we don't want them to pull the elbow too far behind the shoulder because again, that will drive the scapula up and over the thorax and may make it really challenging to maintain optimal scapula alignment. So again, we set the client up, long spine position. Shoulders open and wide, scapula wrapped. So we've already taught them where that position is. Now we teach them how to row and maintain that position throughout their rowing pattern. We teach them not to pull the elbow too far back and we make sure that they stay open and wide as they pull and they're not overly retracting the scapula like this. They're pulling themselves back into a neutral alignment of the scapula, a slight upward rotated and posterior tilted position. And they maintain both the eccentric phase and through the concentric phase, that scapular control, the neck stays soft, the pectoralis complex stays soft as well through the horizontal pulling pattern. So that's how we teach our clients to integrate serratus anterior function with the upper and lower trapezius to maintain that upper rotation and posterior tilt through horizontal pulling patterns. So this is Dr. Evan Osar. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it served you in helping your clients achieve their health and fitness goals. If you're looking for greater resources, check out Integrative Movement U. We bring, each month, we bring you the corrective exercises, the anatomy, biomechanics, and integrate, show you how to integrate the anatomy, biomechanics, and the corrective exercises into your client's fundamental movement patterns. So you can be the experts that they need and want and refer their friends and family to. So be sure to check out Integrative Movement U for further resources and to develop your expertise and stand out, help your, yourself stand out in the industry. This is Dr. Evan Osar. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.